Tonight here, a nursing home and rehab center back in the hot seat after years of complaints. Thanks so much for joining us here for the News at 11. I'm Vanessa Rufus and I'm Fred Shropshire. The Citadel Salisbury is cut off from its Medicare funding. The Centers of Medicare and Medicaid Services says it is ending its agreement with the facility because it failed to meet its basic health and safety requirements. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker explains what this means for everyone involved. In the beginning of March, DHHS releasing a report 169 pages detailing infractions made inside Citadel Salisbury. Now we're also learning tonight that if you're receiving treatment inside and are relying on Medicare or Medicaid, that treatment will be stopping very soon. In a letter by CMS, the Centers of Medicare and Medicaid Service, on May 19th, the Citadel Salisbury will no longer participate in the program. The reason, quote, failure to meet Medicare's basic health and safety requirements. I'm shocked. There's a 30-day grace period. If you're receiving treatment and getting assistance through the government on June 17th, that will be gone. But how did we get here? This almost 200 page report details findings by the Department of Health and Human Services. Examples including alleged sexual harassment, in part, quote, based on observations. The facility failed to protect a resident's right to be free from abuse when another resident has offered that resident money in favor of intimate activities and even abuse by staff. Quote, a nurse aide scratching a resident's wrist and covering his mouth with her hand. I didn't know that and I'll need to review. I will need to look at that. I mean, that's what I will need to do. One woman who didn't want to be on camera has a loved one inside Citadel Salisbury. She says after hearing these examples, she's left speechless. That would be devastating. Her loved one saying this hasn't happened to her since checking in 45 days ago. That would not be good if she shared that with me or any other family member. I reached out to the facility Thursday morning. The first time I was hung up on, I called again. I touched base and was told my information would be passed on. Our team showed up in person asking to speak with someone. No one was available, but we were told by one staff member. He was shocked when he heard about the termination with CMS. He told WCNC Charlotte things were rough, but has seen major improvement in the past month. The employee adding he believes the facility will appeal this termination. And as we get closer to the June 17th expiration date, it's clear there are questions left unanswered. Now for the residents inside who do rely on Medicare and Medicaid, the employee also told us the social worker will be working to make sure they are relocated. But one question left that we wanted to ask who's footing the bill to relocate in Salisbury, Austin Walker, WCNC Charlotte.